she is. Here she is now. Let's listen in line. After years of all talk and no action, we passed a once in a generation bipartisan in infrastructure investment bill to restore our roads, bridges, and transit, plus make universal broadband a reality. <laughs> We'll be making America more competitive with American workers thanks to the Chips and Science Act, which will be crucial to making U.S. business more competitive globally and creating jobs here at home. <laughs> We're lowering prices and tackling inflation. The top issue I've heard from families here in the past year is how rising prices have become a burden on their budgets, and that's why I was proud to vote to pass the Inflation Reduction Act. <laughs> is saving tens of thousands of people in our district hundreds of dollars a year on their health insurance premiums and capping the cost of prescription drugs for Medicare beneficiaries by finally empowering Medicare to negotiate drug prices. <laughs> we've seen gas prices drop and drop as we've worked with the administration to ensure adequate supply and hold big oil, accountable, big oil companies accountable for profiteering off of everyday Americans. There's no reason that they should be making record profits while we suffer at the pump. <laughs> We're working to bring our community together. We've achieved progress on long-standing bipartisan priorities like gun violence prevention and keeping our community safe. Yeah. Getting toxic to exposed veterans the health care they support, the healthcare support they deserve, and delivering expanded resources. Congresswoman Jennifer Wexton uh, winning her seat there in District 10. Uh, she will now become a third term incumbent congresswoman. Stay with us. We will continue our coverage of election night 2022 when we return.